Hey, Warsaw. Good morning. Sunday morning here. This is your friend Jeff Yalden. So yesterday, Mr. Akers reached out to me and shared with me the loss of two of your juniors in a, in a drowning. My friends, I don't know the circumstances, but for my message to you, that doesn't matter. What matters is I'm sitting here just wishing there was a way that I can give my heart to yours and I can answer questions and reach out and give each and every one of you a hug. I'm sorry, and I want you to know that last night since I heard these words and this morning I wake up with a, with a heavy heart wishing that I can just reach out and take all this pain away. So uh, for all the students and the staff, I know this is such a devastating time. All the friends and most certainly the families of these two young men, I want you to know that my prayers and thoughts are with you. And um, I know it's going to be a tough week as we sit here on Sunday. We face the final week of school, maybe about three days left of classes. And then we have to sit here and deal with graduation on Friday. So we're going to have an incredible week of sadness and pain, uh, heartfelt emotions. And we're also going to have a week of uh, happiness and jubilation with our seniors graduating. It's going to be a tough week for each and every one of you. And so I kind of would like to just stop by and give some, you know, thoughts. And, and I don't want to be insensitive. Uh, I know that you know that. Your friends are really special. Our high school years are really something to be proud of and so as we're going to have to spend time on monday tuesday wednesday probably finishing up final exams we're also caught up in the motion asking questions why what happened how could this happen you know my friends life every day is special choices truly matter so does our attitude life is not fair life will never be fair and sometimes we sit here with questions that will never be answered. This is just so unfortunate. And the timing is so very unfortunate for everybody. I hope this week that each and every one of you can, can come together again. I hope that each and every one of you can, can put the focus on what is important. And what is important is we have to wrap up these three days strong. That doesn't mean that we're not going to have emotions. What also is important is that we are very, very attentive to the families, the friends, the, the relatives, and they're going through such an... Uh, I thought about yesterday how you have to reach out to the family after something so devastating happens and it just seems so unreal. Well, this is unreal. So this week we're gonna have to deal with services and then we have to turn around and we have to go to graduation celebrations. My friends, you know it's important, life. Life is important. Let go of things that we, we get bitter sometimes over things that don't really matter. Somebody may say something. I mean, why, why, why do we talk about people? Why do we put ourselves in positions where we're being a part of drama or talking bad things about people? These things, they don't matter in the whole scheme of life. I think you're all going to go through some Incredible emotions this week. I mean, how do you go from sadness and tears at a wake to celebrating someone's graduation, even maybe that evening, that afternoon, the following day? That's what we're going to have to do. It's not going to be an easy week for anybody this week. But on the other hand, this shouldn't take away 
from the pride and, and how proud we are of the seniors that are graduating and the juniors now moving forward this summer to where this is your school. I hope you guys as juniors, you do something special. And maybe this summer you guys will plan something. Maybe you get a bench in, in these boys' names. Maybe you plant a tree. But more importantly than anything, let this be something that makes us grow together. Make this be something that builds us as a community and a class and a school culture climate that brings great school spirit and great school morale. But I also want each and every one of you to go through the grieving process at your pace. And we all grieve differently. It's okay to be angry. How you channel that anger is important. It's okay to yell and scream and punch things, but you know, instead of punching a wall where there could be circumstances as a result of your actions, it's probably better off that we punch a pillow. Instead of taking out our anger and our emotions on the people that love us the most, our parents and our friends, maybe we're better off just yelling into a pillow and screaming into a pillow. But more and I hope this week we have a lot of hugs. We have a lot of hugs. And I don't want to spend too much time talking, but I just want to stop on by and let each and every one of you to know that um, I'm here in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, just wishing that I can reach out to the whole Warsaw community and give every single one of you a hug from the bottom of my heart. I'm truly sorry. I appreciate many of you messaging me and sharing with me your loss. I wish there was more that I could do. I hope every one of you know that I love you, I care about you, and know that I'm praying for you. Know that I'm here for you too. You guys make it a, uh, Make it a good week. Make it a good week, my friends. I'm here for each and every one of you.